2 million credits up for grabs if you can get the right answers in this GT World Series bonus campaign. I'm going to let you know right now my best guesses for the Manufacturer Cup and Nations Cup. I have raced a lot of these drivers in real life, so I kind of know the skill level, I know the cars as well. So you get a million credits if you predict a championship winner, so it's a million each, two million credits in total. Quite a decent amount in um, Gran Turismo sort of credit land. We're going to start here with the Manufacturers Cup. It's teams of three this time around, which is very interesting. I'm going to let you know who I'm going to be putting my proverbial money on. So you can see that we've got um, McLaren, um, not probably not the strongest team in the world. No real standout drivers there. And the McLaren is not great. Toyota... This is one that you can you can put your money on Toyota and feel like you've made a solid bet. Karatsa, Koke Lopez, who I've raced a lot, and uh, Kobayashi as well. So that is a very strong team for Toyota. So if you put your money on Toyota, that's a pretty solid bet. Nissan as well is a good manufacturer. They've got Cockabun in there. So decent team. I still rank Toyota over Nissan. Then we come to Subaru. And we've got Killian Drummond and we've got Miyazono in the Subaru. Now, those two drivers, if it was a two driver team, I would say put all your money on Subaru, put it all on, on blue, <laughs> because that is probably the strongest driver pairing. But Roberto Sternberg, a bit more of an unknown quantity. So, if you want to be a little bit more sort of out there uh, with your choice, you can go for Subaru, because that's a bit of a uh, wild card. Going to BMW now. Um, again, not really the strongest um, driver team here, not the strongest manufacturer, so I would not go for BMW. AMG, very strong. Baptiste Beauvoir, strong, you know, very um, strong driver. Uh, nice guy as well for RHG. Lucas Benelli, we all love seeing him on the driver cam, and they've got Yamanaka as well. So AMG, a very strong driver lineup, but the AMG sort of cars have held them back in the past. Benelli and Baptiste Beauvoir, they like driving the AMG. So again, a bit of an outside bet, but I still say pretty solid choice there. Going to Mazda, who are a good uh, manufacturer, but not, oh, not the strongest driver lineup again. So going to recommend you don't go with Mazda this time. Then we've got Lamborghini. We've got British driver, American driver, and Japanese driver, but it won't really matter because Lamborghini just won't be up there, so would not pick Lamborghini. Here we come to Porsche now. Um, obviously, thoughts go out to Innistrosa, who was in a um, unfortunate uh, traffic accident uh, down in uh, Chile, so he won't be participating. And somewhat controversially, they haven't called up um, his uh, replacement either. So that is going to be a duo team for Porsche with Josetti, who I've raced a lot, and Sasaki. So potentially a really tight-knit unit there at Porsche. Porsche, decent enough manufacturer. So again, if you want to go for an outside bet, um, put your bet on uh, Angel Innistrosa's team. You can do that in Porsche. Coming to Honda now, Valeria Gallo's favourite um, team. He's a top bloke as well. Remember, he was very passionate about... Uh, the MR cars sort of not being good enough at the beginning of Gran Turismo 7. He sort of put his money where his mouth was and said he's not going to drive anymore until it's fixed. Now he's back and he's here with this team. I don't really see Honda going through, I'm afraid. So I would not bet on Honda. Uh, Renault, just absolutely terrible manufacturer. So wouldn't really waste any time um, with Renault, unfortunately. And then we've got uh, Genesis. Um, again, not really the best manufacturer. So I would say if you're going to put your money uh, where your mouth is here, AMG, probably the strongest driver lineup um, across the three drivers. But then Subaru, the strongest uh, driver lineup across two drivers. And then you've got Toyota as well. So I would say it's between Toyota, Subaru um, and, uh, and AMG there. That's my bet. Let's go on over now to the uh, Nations Cup, which is going to be, I think, a little bit more interesting because we don't have the uh, kind of like... We can just look at the drivers, basically, without thinking about the cars. So we've got Spain here, Josetti, Coco Lopez and Polura. That's a very strong team. Um, personally, myself, having raced so much with Josetti 
and Coque Lopez. I would love to see Spain do it again in the uh, Nations Cup showdown. Coque Lopez obviously is the uh, reigning Nations Cup champion. He had that very controversial, controversial moment with Anger Unestroza in the final of the Nations Cup. You can see my video reaction. I'll link it at the end here. France, uh, obviously, Baptiste Beauvoir and Killian, very, very, very strong. Third driver, not quite as strong. So we'll see how France are going to do. They might have to do a bit of a carry there. Then we've got Italy, Mangano, Gallo, and uh, Busnelli is a strong driver lineup. Um, race these guys a lot as well. So that strong. I'd still rate probably Spain just ahead of them at the moment. Netherlands, some unknown quantities here, some drivers looking to prove themselves. Don't really see Netherlands being in, in the mix, unfortunately, for them. Uh, Belgian, same again. Some, some very unknown Belgian drivers here, so I don't see they're going to be in the mix. USA, obviously a lot of USA fans in the comments, I'm sure. Let us know in the comments, whether which team are you supporting here, which driver you're supporting. Will be amazing to see, but I don't see the USA winning the Nations Cup showdown. Coming over to Canada now, and again, I don't see Canada, unfortunately, uh, doing that well, but hopefully a lot of fun for them. And here we go. This is, I think, going to be my pick. Carazza, Benelli, and Iga Fraga, who is not in the Manufacturers' Cup, but he is in the Nations Cup. He is driving. He's sponsored by Gran Turismo. He's sponsored by Fanatec. He's driving in Super Formula Lights, I believe, in Japan as a Gran Turismo athlete. Um, arguably the fastest driver here. Uh, no Mikel Hizal. So Brazil, if you want a, a solid bet, I think you, you can't really go too far, far past Brazil here. That is an incredibly strong team. Very passionate team as well. Chile, unfortunately, Anger Inostroza, as we said, is not going to be here. And he's really the lead driver in that team. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't see Chile doing too well. Now, here we come with Japan. Interestingly, no Takuma Miyazono in the Nations Cup. They've got Kobayashi, Sasaki and Suzuki. So, by the way, Sasaki has no date of birth. He was just created um, like, a, like a sort of in-game character. But Japan, you can never write off Japan. A lot of the Japanese drivers are instrumental in the training of GT Sophie. Uh, they know the game inside out. Don't write them off, but I don't think this is going to really be their, their year or their season. Malaysia, interestingly, the only driver that used to drive for Kirith Esports was Danish Wignes, Wignes Saran. Um, so he used to be a driver that, uh, if you liked and subscribed, you were supporting him, but unfortunately he no longer is a driver of KCR. And I don't think they're the strongest team. They're also completely anonymous. No pictures for Malaysia. And then New Zealand... Um, you know, hopefully a strong showing from New Zealand. They've done actually uh, quite well in the past, punch above their weight. But I have to say, when you look at everything here, it is really, really hard to look past the strength of Brazil. I guess you could say France potentially uh, could be there, but, you know, Spain, Italy. So maybe Spain, Italy, France and uh, Brazil they, those look to be the really strong nations here. And Japan, a little bit unknown quantity, but never write them off. I hope this has been really helpful. Let me know in the comments you got in them. Um, and let me know any thoughts you have in the comments. And best of luck for getting those credits. I will see you. See you in the next one.